In this video we discuss will the Switch 2 be hard to find and we'll also talk about an update that the Nintendo president has said about this. Let's get into it. Before we get into this video make sure you are hitting that subscribe button and also liking and commenting because it does really help us out. We recently hit 2000 subs so massive thank you for that, that does really help us but yeah let's get into the video. So the Nintendo Switch 2 is pretty much confirmed by Nintendo and it's going to be revealed between now and March. We're going to expect a reveal sometime this year or next and we're, we're all looking forward to it. We're all looking forward to the Switch 2. It's going to be great. It's time to get excited. Obviously the Switch 1 came out in 2017 and the Switch has been absolutely amazing. I think it is my favourite Nintendo console of all time. I absolutely love the Switch. There's been so many great games on it, so many great ports, remasters, um, so many, so much third party support. It's been a great Nintendo console, my favourite Nintendo console of all time. Um, but it is time to say goodbye to the Switch. The Switch is now getting old. It is what, going into its eighth year now. And I believe it is now the longest running Nintendo console. Longer than the Wii, supported longer than the Wii U obviously, supported longer than the Game Boy. Um, I'm trying to think of all the long supported Nintendo systems, the NES, um, you know, the Wii, the 3DS, the DS, um, so yeah, all those game systems got a lot of support, long support, uh, but the Switch is actually the longest supported Nintendo console, and it's time for a brand new console, it's time for something new from Nintendo. And it's already been confirmed by the Nintendo president on Twitter that we're going to be getting revealed between now and March of next year. So we could assume that it's going to launch within the next year. This time next year we could possibly be having a Switch 2 on our desks, on our entertainment centres, in front of our TVs. We could be having a Switch 2 already there. It's an exciting time to be a Nintendo fan. Now, the question on everybody's mind, or the question that we're going to be answering in this video, is the Switch 2 going to be hard to find? Now, if you remember back in 2020, there was a lot and lot of controversy about the Xbox Series S and also the PlayStation 5 on how complicated they were to get. They were almost impossible to get and lots of people scalped them. This was mainly because the chips used inside the Series S and also the PlayStation 5 were really hard to come by and that was because of COVID. Now, these consoles launched in 2020 and obviously we know what happened in 2020 with everything uh, but because of that there was a lot of shortages in chips and it caused uh, not many consoles to actually be sent out so they couldn't keep up with demand. That was the issue, that's why the Series S and also the PlayStation 5 were incredibly hard to find. But will the same thing happen with the Switch? Now I think Nintendo is in a slightly better situation here. So of course everything that happened in 2020 with those two other consoles happened in 2020. We're now going to be going into 2025 so it's kind of a different situation. Things from that sort of era have kind of passed now. Things are easy to get. You can easily get a PlayStation 5. You can easily get an Xbox Series S. But will the same happen with the Switch? Probably not because, you know, we have sort of sorted the chip shortage problem now. People can actually get chips to make consoles, to make product. But will the Switch sell out? Now, of course, Nintendo have a history with this. They had a history with this with the Amiibos, the NES Classic Edition. And Nintendo have, or used to, used to really have a system where they would not make enough consoles to sort of drive up hype to keep people, you know, trying to find them. They trying to find these products. It happened with the Wii as well. Um, when they, when everything is popular with Nintendo, they seem to make less copies of it and, you know, people aren't able to get it and it causes scalpers to actually get the consoles. It's been rumoured that the Switch 2 is actually delayed, not because of anything to do with, like, hardware issues or software issues or lack of games, that kind of thing. It's actually been confirmed that it was delayed due to stock shortages, so Nintendo didn't want to have empty shelves. It's been rumoured that it's, that was the reason they actually delayed it, it was because they didn't want empty shelves and they wanted people to be able to grab a Switch 2, which is a really good thing when you think about it, because the Switch 1, yes, it's so, so popular, people love the Switch 1, uh, but there was a bit of time there where you just couldn't get a Switch 1. I remember at launch, the pre-orders sold out almost instantly, um, you couldn't get one at launch, you'd have to like pre-order months and months in advance and they sold out um, within hours, it was impossible to get a Switch. And that was when Nintendo was in a bad spot, that's when Nintendo was just coming off the Wii U, there was not really much faith in Nintendo, so people were hyped for the Switch 1, uh, but people are going to be unbelievably hyped for the Switch 2, so even grabbing one on pre-order is going to be hard. I actually remember when I picked up my first Switch uh, in 2017, I actually got it from a 
sort of second-hand game shop in the UK. It's called uh, CX, C-E-X, uh, and it's on screen right now. You can see it. Uh, I actually got mine from there, and instead of it being £280, I actually paid £350, um, a slightly higher price because they were so hard to get. People did scalp the Switch 1. People scalped the Switch 1 when Nintendo wasn't in a good spot. So it's good that Nintendo seem to be concerned that they don't want people to be scalping the Switch 2, uh, but there's going to be so much more demand. Nintendo is such a bigger company than it was now. It's such a bigger company now than it was uh, in 2017. Nintendo in 2017 was still big. It was still a big thing in 2017, don't get me wrong. But now it's even bigger because of the success of the Switch. It's done so well, the Switch has. So yeah, lots of people are going to be trying to get a Switch 2, and I feel like there is still going to be the die-hard gaming fans go out and buy the consoles. It happens with the PlayStation, the Xbox, it, ha it even happened with the Wii U. The Wii U's best-selling months ever was in that first, like, initial launch period in 2012, so me personally, I feel like it would be insane for us to assume that the Switch 2 isn't going to sell out on that first initial wave, whenever it launches. Let's say it launches in March of next year. That first wave is going to basically sell out. That's going to be just the first shipment is going to sell out. But then hopefully there should be a steady flow of new consoles being sent to shops, being sent to stores that you can get quite easily. That's the best case scenario. I don't think anyone is assuming that the first wave isn't going to sell out. Obviously the hype's going to be there. Every influence is going to want a new Switch. Uh, all of the diehard fans are going to want a new Switch, Everybody, everybody's going to be wanting one. So it's going to be hard to get one on that initial wave, uh, unless you get a pre-order, but then I think even pre-orders are going to sell out, because even getting pre-orders for a PlayStation 5, Switch 1, or an Xbox Series S was incredibly hard. I remember trying to get a Switch 1 pre-order, and yeah, they sold out, websites were crashing, so yeah, it's going to be hard for that initial wave. That first quarter after the launch is going to be rough, but after that, hopefully we shouldn't see any shortages, and that is the main concern. Obviously with the Xbox and the PlayStation shortages for the last console, that felt like it went on for years. I felt like it was going on to like 2022, maybe even early 2023, when you could just about see them in shops. And that was, what, three years into the life cycle? Getting a console, a, especially a PlayStation 5, in 2020 was absolutely insane. You just could not do it, unless you wanted to go onto eBay and pay upwards of £1,000. I remember that same shop, what I mentioned earlier about the Switch, Switch 1, CX. They actually were selling the PlayStation 5 for nearly £800, £900 at one point, when it retailed for, what, 400 So, yeah, it's absolutely insane. There is going to be some shortages, but hopefully they shouldn't last too long from what Nintendo is saying. However, the Nintendo president has been asked about this, about the chip shortages and how they think it's going to affect the Switch, and it says that, that situation has now been resolved. As for the successor to Nintendo Switch, at present we do not think shortages of components will significantly affect production. So they're saying they have enough parts, they're going to be getting enough parts to make the Switch 2 as quick as they want to. So, you know, shortages shouldn't really happen here. And that will be amazing if that's true. Um, but, you know, there could also be shortages just for uh, lots of reasons. Lots of logistical reasons could cause shortages. We don't know that. If I had to make a prediction about the Switch 2, let's say it launches outside of a holiday season. Let's say it launches in a March. Let's say it launches in an April, which is probably better because you're going to have less demand there because it's not the holiday season. So let's say it launches in a March. I feel like that first quarter, up until about, what, June, July time, it's going to be hard to get a Switch 2, but after June, July, then that's when I think it's going to start to get easier in a perfect world. Worst case scenario, that entire first year of Switch 2 is going to be hard to get a Switch 2, and that will be really, really bad, and that is not a great thing to think about, but it is also a possibility. Now, if this thing launches near a holiday season, the demand is going to be even higher than it would be in that initial March uh, launch window, let's just say, because near that holiday season, people are wanting to buy big, expensive presents for people, you know? People spend more money during those time periods. That is just how the economy and, you know, different sales work. Lots of parents will be trying to buy a Switch for people. They'll be trying to buy a Switch too for people. Lots of people will be trying to buy a Switch, not even for themselves, just as a gift during that time. So if it launches during that sort of time period during the year, during that sort of end of the year of 2025, then it's going to be even worse to get a Switch 2, and it could be, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe up to a year, um, you know, be hard to try and get a Switch 2. So hopefully we won't see delays, hopefully we won't see, you know, shortages of the Switch. They say that components shouldn't show, slow them down, you know, I feel like that's a reason 
why we didn't see a Nintendo Switch Pro. We saw the OLED because, you know, chip shortages were hard to get, and the OLED for the most part was easy enough to grab as well. So, yeah, you know, I don't really think we're going to be struggling that much to get a Switch 2. It's a possibility that we could struggle for up to six months or so, but hopefully it shouldn't be any way near as bad as PlayStation 5. You know, every console, you know, has struggles when it first comes out. They sell out almost instantly every time a new console from the big three game companies come out. You know, I mean, we even saw it with the Steam Deck recently. That sold out when it came first came out and people scalped that. So, yeah, it's almost inevitable that it is going to sell out and going to be hard to grab at launch. Even if, you know, Nintendo was working overtime to make Switch consoles and, you know, was working and sending out way more than they thought they even needed, it was still going to sell out. But hopefully they won't last as long as the uh, PS5 and Series S did. Hopefully, hopefully, because I mean, I mean, the world's in a different state now. You know, we're in a whole different, you know, condition, and not a lot of those same things are happening that happened in 2020. So, yeah, hopefully, everyone should be able to grab a Switch 2. Let me know your thoughts, everybody. Will you be grabbing a Switch 2? Do you think they'll be available at launch? Do you think they're going to sell out? Do you think they'll be hard to get? And if you do think they're going to be hard to get, how long do you think they'll be hard to get for? Will you pay a scalper price if you're not able to pre-order one? Will you try and pre-order one? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, everybody. I do try and read and heart at least everybody's comments. So let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. I'm really excited for the Switch 2. I'm going to try and hopefully pre-order one because, you know, that means I get one for launch and that would be really, really cool. Um, the only console I did get at launch was the Switch 1. So hopefully I can do that again for the Switch 2. But, you know... I'm just excited to see what Nintendo has to show for the Switch 2. I'm excited just to see what it is. I know it's kind of like weird talking about will it sell out, but we don't even know what it is yet. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited about the Switch 2. Wanted to make a video just saying, do you think it'll be hard to get? Um, talk about my opinions on how hard I think it will be to get and all that other good stuff. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, everybody. Uh, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you're liking. Make sure you're doing all that other good YouTube stuff. And hopefully, I will see you in another video. Cheers for watching, everybody.